Every year, new dinosaur fossils are discovered, each more impressive than the last, and this past year has seen significant findings that will leave you awestruck. Dinosaurs – 12 Amazing Discoveries in the Last Year Number 1 – Dinosaur Found with Food in Its Stomach Believe it or not, they've unearthed a carnivorous dinosaur with other dinosaurs in its stomach that were its dinner, providing valuable information. The glutton was a young Gorgosaurus, very young in fact. The Gorgosaurus was a tyrannosaurid carnivore that, as an adult, measured over 26 feet in length and weighed 2 tons. It lived in Canada 75 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. However, the specimen found was only 13% the size of an adult, meaning it died before reaching adolescence. So far, just a typical juvenile specimen like those found every year. But the surprise came when those responsible for cleaning the fossil and separating it from the rock noticed that the toes of other dinosaurs were peeking through the Gorgosaurus's ribs. These toes belonged to two young Kangnagatha dinosaurs, ostrich-like dinosaurs. This discovery confirmed the hypothesis that large carnivores fed on different species as they grew older. Not only that, but the fact that there were entire legs of Kangnagatha Gathids means that the Gorgosaurus was selective in what it ate, not devouring the entire bodies of its victims, but rather the parts it liked the most, such as the legs. It didn't nibble on the corpse to extract the meat, as some current felines do, but it ate it, bones and all. Bon appetit, Gorgosaurus! Number 2. Tyrannosaurus Lips well, this isn't exactly a discovery, but rather the wildest paleontological theory of 2023. The T-Rex is the dinosaur whose appearance has been most questioned. From whether its claws served a purpose or were useless, to whether it could or couldn't run, whether it was a carnivore or a scavenger, and whether it had feathers or not. Now, a new study challenges the appearance of its mouth, suggesting that it had lips. Can you imagine this mighty predator with fleshy lips? Well, not exactly as in the image, but something more subtle. Some scientists believe that the T-Rex's mouth looked more like that of a Komodo dragon than a crocodile, the way it's always been depicted. This is because having exposed teeth causes more wear and tear, which is why an American alligator can have 3,000 teeth over its lifetime, while the T-Rex made its teeth last longer. Additionally, in alligators, the outer side of the teeth appears more worn than the inner side, a feature not observed in T-Rex teeth, leading to the assumption that they were covered by lips. It's precisely animals with lips, like the Komodo dragon, that have a more uniformly coated enamel on their teeth. However, some scientists disagree, stating that the crucial aspect of T-Rex teeth was not the enamel coating, but the layer behind it called dentin, and that it'd have little impact whether the enamel wore down or not. What do you think? Do you believe it had lips? Share your thoughts in the comments. Number 3. Dinosaur Footprints in Denali National Park and Preserve in Alaska, a 218-foot-high cliff, equivalent to 22 stories, was discovered with hundreds of dinosaur footprints. These included horned dinosaurs, small raptor birds, duck-billed dinosaurs, and even footprints of a tyrannosaur. 70 million years ago, the cliff was a mud flat near a water source where various dinosaurs left their footprints. The mud preserved these footprints in great detail, even capturing the texture of the skin. Over time, the mud dried and fossilized, turning into rock. Much later, due to tectonic plate movements and the collision of the North American plate with the Pacific plate, the ground lifted, putting the ancient mud flat in a vertical position as it stands today. The cliff also contains plant fossils, pollen, and shellfish, as well as prints left by wading birds, providing an incredible window into studying the ecosystem of the late Cretaceous period. Number 4. Prehistoric Battle In 2023, an article was published in the journal Scientific Reports that analyzed an interesting pair of fossils unearthed some time ago in the Chinese province of Liaoning. It involved a Rapinomammus robustus, a prehistoric mammal resembling a badger, measuring 18 and a half inches in length, fighting with a bird-like dinosaur, a Psittacosaurus. Apparently, the Repenomamus robustus emerged as the winner of the battle as one of its front legs was gripping the lower jaw of the Psittacosaurus 
Ceratosaurus and its teeth were embedded in its rib cage. Regardless of the outcome, the mammal couldn't have enjoyed its victory much because both mammals were buried in volcanic mud, immortalizing their fight as a 125 million year old fossil. Some time ago, paleontologists had discovered the bones of a Psittacosaurus in the stomach of another Repenomanus robustus, but they couldn't determine whether the Repenomanus had hunted it or obtained it as a carrion. Now, this discovery makes it clear that mammals were not only hunted by dinosaurs, but can also turn the tables and eat dinosaurs. Number 5. Fossilized Larynx Paleontologists unearthed an 80 million year old larynx in Mongolia. The owner of this fossilized throat was a Pinacosaurus grangeri, a relative of the Ankylosaurus with armor and a club shaped tail. Researchers previously thought that most dinosaurs communicated through grunts and roars, like crocodiles. However, the structure of the Pinacosaurus grangeri's larynx suggests otherwise. The larynx had a very large crinkoid, a cartilage ring responsible for opening and closing the airways. Humans also have it, especially men, and it's what we call the Adam's apple. In Pinacosaurus, the crinkoid was accompanied by two very long bones, turning its throat into a vocal modifier. It doesn't mean that it could speak, but it could produce many more variations of sounds than initially thought for a crocodile or a dinosaur. Additionally, they could emit chirps and be heard over a great distance. This discovery is crucial in getting closer to understanding how dinosaurs really sounded. Number 6. The Long Necks That Came From Spain Let's delve into a bit of paleontological theory. Sauropods are large, long-necked dinosaurs, and among them, the dinosaurs known as Titanosaurus, such as Patagotitan, Argentinosaurus, or Sauropasadon, were the largest. Within this group, a new discovery in Spain emerged, the Garumbatitan Morlensis, found in the Morella Clay Formation. This site has also yielded remains of other dinosaurs like the carnivores Valibonovanatrix and Protathletus, herbivores like Iguanodon and Mantelosaurus, and even turtles like Brodiacellus. In the midst of this ensemble, a long-necked dinosaur was a must, and the Garumba Titan joined the group. This sauropod measured 65 feet in length and weighed 40 tons. It had vertebrae 3.3 feet wide and femurs 6.6 .6 feet long. Although the bones had been unearthed since 2008, it wasn't until 2023 that it was proposed as a new dinosaur genus. Phylogenetic analyses determined that it belonged to one of the most primitive titanosaurian lineages, potentially placing the Iberian Peninsula as one of the possible cradles of these giants from where they may have spread across the rest of the planet. While it's too early to assert this, the hypothesis has emerged from this discovery. Number 7. Fossilized Feathers if you're a paleontology enthusiast, you probably know that feathers have been found for quite some time. However, this discovery is special because a group of scientists decided to subject the feathers of Sinornithosaurus and Confuciosaurus, two dinosaurs from 125 million years ago, to x-rays, and the results were astonishing. They found a significant amount of beta-carotene proteins necessary in the feathers of modern birds to strengthen them and enable flight. These were compared with proteins from feathers of current birds of the Teneopygia genus and found out to be almost identical. Proteins, like species, also evolve, and until now, paleontologists believe that the proteins in dinosaur feathers were ancestors of those of present-day birds. However, they were surprised to realize that they were the same and had remained unchanged for millions of years. This brings dinosaurs much closer to being birds than we previously thought. Number 8. Communal Nests In Canada, nests containing dinosaur eggs from 74 million years ago, dating back to the Cretaceous period, were unearthed. These eggs belong to the Trudenformosaurus dinosaur. Each nest contained approximately 20 eggs, but paleontologists have determined that each Trudon laid only between two and four eggs. This suggests that the nests were communal and Trudons took turns incubating their eggs. Dinosaurs branched off from reptiles and, in turn, gave rise to birds. The fact that they laid a small number of eggs per individual implies that dinosaurs were, on one hand, closer to their reptilian ancestors, which also lay few eggs, but had already developed the habit of 
of incubating them, a characteristic of birds. Since incubation requires maintaining body temperature, it indicates that dinosaurs were warm-blooded animals. In the future, scientists hope to pinpoint the exact moment when dinosaurs differentiated from reptiles and developed their own thermal regulation. Number 9. Deadly Dust Studies on rocks continue to reveal more details about the tragic end of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. It's known that when the Chicxulub asteroid impacted, a large part of the planet caught fire, releasing a substantial amount of sulfur from the asteroid and soot from fires. This combination blocked sunlight from reaching the planet, plunging the world into a long winter. However, paleontologists have found ultra-fine silicate dust in the rock layers from the time of the extinction. This dust, originating from the pulverized asteroid, would have constituted 75% of the material ejected into the atmosphere and was so fine that it would have remained suspended in the air for 15 years, darkening everything. The lack of light would have caused a temperature drop of up to 27 degrees Fahrenheit and completely halted photosynthesis for a whole year, ultimately leading to the death of most animals. It was the absolute apocalypse. Number 10. A New Dinosaur Chile has a new dinosaur, the Goncocan Nanoi, belonging to the Hadrosaurid family. It measured 13 feet in length and weighed a ton, living 72 million years ago. Its remains were unearthed in 2013, but it was officially proposed as a new species in 2023 after paleontologists ensured it wasn't a previously discovered dinosaur. Hadrosaurids were herbivorous dinosaurs that lived during the Cretaceous period and have been found in North America, South America, Europe, and Asia, essentially all over the world. There are estimated to be 50 discovered genera of hadrosaurids in total. However, Gunkokan Nanoi is special, as it appears to be an early genus of hadrosaurid with more similarities to primitive species found in North America than the other four hadrosaurid species found in Chile. Therefore, it is expected to provide more clues about about the evolution of these herbivores. Number 11. A Spiked Dinosaur A new dinosaur species was discovered on the Isle of Wight off the southern coast of England, the Vectopelta beretti, a relative of the Ankylosaurus, an armored dinosaur with bony plates on its back and a tail resembling a mace. What caught attention about this new dinosaur is that, in addition to osteoderms, or bony plates, it had blade-like spikes along the edges of its armor, giving it a more menacing appearance than the Ankylosaurus itself. Another interesting aspect is that it isn't directly related to other Ankylosaurid species found in Europe, but rather with those found in China, suggesting a migration from Asia. However, this hypothesis still needs verification. Number 12. The Longest Neck The Mamenchisaurus is one of the largest sauropods globally and possesses the longest neck. However, only parts of the skull and ribs had been found. In recent months, a group of paleontologists attempted to reconstruct the skeleton and the full size of this gigantic dinosaur. They utilized a relative found in China, the Xinjiang Titan, which was unearthed with a complete neck. The proportions of the Xinjiang Titan were extrapolated to the Mamenchisaurus Sinocanadorum, resulting in a neck measuring 49 feet long. This is almost as long as a trailer. Scientists believe it could move its neck because the vertebrae were extremely light due to air chambers inside. Another unanswered question is why the neck was so long. It's believed that it served not only to reach leaves at the top of trees, but also to feed on multiple trees in the vicinity without needing to walk or expend too many calories, all of which went straight to its enormous body. A master of practicality. These were the most significant dinosaur discoveries of the past year. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe for more prehistoric content. See you in the next video. Thank you.